everyone. This is Jyoti Shoran. I'm second year PhD student. And in today's topic, I'll be discussing about the important research area in physics. This is research abroad, especially in USA and Europe, as well as in India. So let us start. So let us discuss the important research area. So in this slide, you will see like the research, how is the evolution of topics or research topics in the field of physics. So the field of the research in the field of physics have been started from 287 BC when the Archimedes gave us the principle of how submarines or ships work. Then more of the research was in the classical mechanics when Sir Isaac Newton gave us the laws of uh, Newton's law of motion. Then James Clerk Maxwell gave us uh, in 1865 four equations, Maxwell's equation, which can answer electricity at magnetism revolves. Then in 1905, who, Sir Albert Einstein, who was a theoretical physicist, he gave us E is equal to MC square theory of relativity, help us understand the photoelectric effect. So, uh, and then uh, there was like more research in the area of Big Bang and topics like that. So in 1978, these uh, these two scientists, uh, Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson from Bell's lab got the uh, Nobel Prize for validating uh, the Big Bang theory. Finally, in 2023, the Nobel Prize was given in the field of optics to these three scientists for attosecond laser. So now we have discussed uh, about the optics. So let us start with optics. Like what are the area in the field of optics which is research. Ho hai. So isko start karne se pehle, uh, let me uh, give you, uh, like let me tell you one thing. Like most of the Nobel Prizes in physics have been awarded in this area. So it is very important field for research. All the institute in India have research in, in physics department will have research in optics. For example, IIT Delhi have Center of Excellence for Optics in US, in Europe, everywhere. There is there are specialized institutes for the research in the field of optics. For example, Max, Max Planck School of Photonics or Rothschild Institute, uh, which is very good. Uh, it's an institute in USA for specially dedicated for optics. Uh, and then in this, you can do research in certain area. For example, quantum optics is a new area. Uh, in which you research on like photons and uh, you can do sensing using that. Then there is nonlinear optics. In nonlinear optics, for example, light follows the principle of polarization is directly proportional to E, right? The single power of E. But in nonlinear optics, it ha what happens is uh, it is a uh, uh, proportional to multiple uh, power of E, like it could be proportional to E square, E cube, something like that, okay? So in this, the major application of this is using a single laser, we can get multiple frequency uh, if this uh, laser or, or the single frequency of the laser has been passed through nonlinear crystal, then we can get the multiple frequency. Okay, so that is a very important uh, application. There is a lot of application in the field of army um, and other areas. Then there comes the atomic, molecular, and optical physics. In this area, also you can do research. Then slightly newer area will be biophotonics and nanophotonics. Then there comes the advanced imaging techniques. For example, X-ray, terahertz imaging, or other type of imaging uh, to do, you know, the study of certain diseases like cancer or the early detection of other techniques and other things also uh, you can do. So uh, let me show you how many research uh, Nobel Prize have been awarded in the area of optics. You can see all these Nobel Prizes have been awarded in the field of optics, okay? Starting from 1901 uh, for the discovery of X-rays and then ongoing till at a second pulses um, in 2023. But it's a very important area of research. So you can look into this area. Other important area in physics is your solid state physics and condensed matter physics. 
तो कहीं पे भी वेर एवर यूर अप्लाइंग दिस एरिया ऑफ रिसर्च विल ऑलवेज बी देयर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स सो मोस्ट ऑफ द रिसर्च इन दिस एरिया इज अराउंड लाइक सुपर कंडक्टिविटी इट वॉज इन न्यूज रिसेंटली इन ऑन स्पिंट्रॉनिक्स जैसे कि इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स होता है जिसमें इलेक्ट्रॉन्स के मूवमेंट से हम इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेट करते हैं वैसे ही स्पिंट्रॉनिक्स होता है जैसे स्पिन होता है स्पिन अप एंड डाउन सो उसके मूवमेंट से हम इलेक्ट्रिसिटी लाइक उसके मूवमेंट को स्टडी करके वी जनरेट Spintronics, quantum Hall effect is a very interesting topic in this area, and etc. There are a lot of uh research area in this, and there are again very specialized institute for like in for example in India, IISC Bangalore is amazing for solid state physics research. Then there is again Max Planck uh center for condensed matter physics, and there are a lot of other institute which solely focus on this area of physics. So you should definitely check this out. so you can see this is max planck institute for solid state research which is amazing uh, and uh, amazing institute so you can see these are the certain area of research under solid state physics which include electronic structure theory so there there will be both theoretical and experimental part to all these topics which, which we are discussing okay so theoretical physics uh, will be from all these topics okay so then there is solid state spectroscopy nanochemistry and quantum materials or like 2d materials for example graphene etc these are the certain ongoing research area in the field of physics then the other important area of research and in physics is high energy and particle physics and the sub topic in this are like standard model ctp quantum field theory accelerator physics for example you might have heard about lhc uh which is considered as the like at cern which is considered as the largest uh, experiment conducted by human it's uh, to study the god particle like uh, and uh, if you're interested in like uh, understanding the particle physics then you should apply and look for research areas or the research institute in these uh, high energy and particle physics then uh, the, one of the common area under this is like dark matter neutrino oscillation etc so this is the uh, mit uh, department of physics website and you can see you know the most of the uh, common research area is dark matter uh, higgs and precision physics quantum field theory cosmology and astro particle physics uh, that's a different branch so you can study about like high energy and particle physics through this and also this is the cern which is the like the largest experiment and you can see like uh, the ongoing research is mostly focused on these area like matter anti symmetry and matter anti matter asymmetry da on dark matter on unified forces etc etc so uh, like this if you're really interested into nuclear and particle physics you should look up for uh, you know these uh research institute even the cern uh, allows for the phd position so you should look up for that so other important area of physics will be your astrophysics whenever somebody mention physics this is the first thing that comes into mind the stars and the galaxies so uh, the common sub area under this will be galaxy formation and evolution gravitational wave gravitational lensing is like life in the universe is again a very interesting topic again big bang neutron stars planetary geology like they study the like dust etc from different planets and try to uh, make theories about uh, the atmosphere of the planet and also the telescope again the telescope can also come under the optics part so this is like more of a interdisciplinary research you cannot you know categorize certain areas into physics everything is interdisciplinary these days agar aap ab foreign mein apply karte uh, like a uh, foreign se phd karte for example i am going from usa so yahan pe kuch bhi matlab ek particular branch bhi nahi hota hai एक रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट है और उसमें हर एक ब्रांच के लोग साथ में कोलैबोरेशन में काम करते हैं सो दिस इज अगेन अ डिफरेंट एरिया यू शुड लुक अप लाइक इफ यू आर रियली इंटरेस्टेड इन एस्ट्रोफिजिक्स यू शुड लुक अप इनटू दीज एरियाज एंड देयर आर लाइक मेनी मोर एरियाज इफ यू डू योर रिसर्च 
Then the slightly newer area will be a biophysics. For example, most interesting in this uh, is like bioprinting. For example, you can print your organs in this, okay? So again, if this is done, this will be like a great for humanity. Uh, scientists are like working uh, and there are like a lot of labs which are like slowly working for bioprinting. And also there is study for the, you know, gene regulatory mechanism, cell biology development and the cancer uh, studies. So if you are like slightly into like medical sciences, then you can go for biophysics. A lot of job opportunities also there after finishing PhD from this areas. So you should definitely look up into these area also. Then the, again, this is a like physics education research is again a new emerging topic. I don't think so. Like most of the people know about it. But again, most of the institute like Cornell and a lot of uh, institute in India are also trying to introduce this uh, area in of the physics education research. In this, like, if you are like mostly interested in education, like how it will, how students can grasp physics like more easily, and uh, like uh, study and retention practices in physics, what should how physics should be taught. If you are into like policy making and certain things, then you should apply for physics education research. So, uh, these were broadly the main topics uh, and the theoretical physics. Like, I have not mention it separately because theoretical physics could be for any of the uh, things I have discussed. For example, in biophysics also, you can do theoretical and computational physics. In astrophysics also, there is a theoretical physics. Large part of it is a theoretical physics. Again, goes for high energy and particle physics, solid state uh, physics. Also, there could be theoretical physics in all these areas. So I have discussed uh, the important research topics in physics. So if you're interested in physics, do look up for uh, these area, whatever suits you. And uh, keep watching your PDF for more information. Thank you.